please welcome to the stage Kate Stewart and Tim Bird, Embedded Open Source Summit Program Chairs. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome everyone to Embedded Open Source Summit. This is our first time doing this uh, combined embedded specific event and we're so happy to be here. It is great to see uh, a lot of old friends, a lot of new faces um, and uh, we're excited to be here in Prague. Uh, this is a beautiful city and we're having beautiful weather. Um, we have over 800 people here in person and over 450 are joining us virtually. So uh, those are our, our best numbers ever. You, you guys probably don't care about that, but as organizers, we do. We like to have a full conference. Um, I want to give a, a huge thank you to our sponsors. Um, our diamond sponsors are Ant Micro, Google, Intel, and Meta. And uh, our platinum sponsor is the Core Embedded Linux Project. Uh, it's one of the projects of the Linux Foundation. Without these sponsors, we wouldn't be able to have uh, this event, all the, the food and the nice facilities, so uh, we appreciate them. Um, and I also uh, really want to thank the program committees and the chairs. So we have six uh, separate events that are all co-located here. And uh, it gives you an opportunity if you want to get outside of your lane a little bit, you can go see uh, what's going on with other areas of, of the embedded ecosystem. And so uh, we really appreciate the work of the program committees. It was really hard this year. Yeah. Uh, we, had, we had more submissions uh, than we've ever had before. And so I know it was disappointing for some of those that didn't get accepted, but we feel like we've got a great program for you this year. Indeed. Um, so moving, like again, thank you very much to all the program committees because it was a yeah. lot of work. Um, going forward um, tonight, just a bit of housekeeping stuff. Um, be sure to join us at Ufleku uh, Brewery and the restaurant for dinner, um, drinks and fun. So there's going to be shuttles leaving uh, the restaurant. They'll be starting to load at 7.15. And we will be um, in front of the Prague um, Congress Center here and the Corinthia. And they'll be running from both locations. Okay, so that's going to be starting at 5.15. And then after six o'clock, the shuttles will leave every 15 to 30 minutes and we'll circle back and forth between the venue and here. So you can spend as much time there as you want. And they'll be returning, um, the last one will be returning to the Corinthia Hotel or the Prague Convention Center at um, nine o'clock. So that's what we're doing. And uh, when you're there, unlike what we're doing right now, please be sure to wear your conference badge so that uh, we know that you know, you're part of the, the, com the community. Um, I'd also like to remind everyone that we do have an event code of conduct um, and everyone agreeing, everyone who's agreed to has uh, clicked that they agree to abide by it. Um, in short, everyone should feel welcome and included. Please treat everyone um, with respect and professionalism and any concerns go to the reg desk or the, on the ground level and the event team will assist you. And with that, that ends up to housekeeping and I would like to introduce our first um, keynote. Um, our first speaker today is Luca Mustafa. Uh, he is the founder and CEO of ERNAS, which is the Institute for Development of Advanced Applied Systems. Um, he leads a multidisciplinary team that is uh, developing open source and devices uh, for some of the most challenging environments and uses, ranging from custom CNC machines to electronics to fiber optics. And so today he's going to be sharing a little bit more about Ernas's mission to protect wildlife with open color devices that run Zephyr Artos. This is one of these projects that's near and dear to my heart as well because I'm a wildlife photographer as a hobby whenever I can get time away from the computer. <laughs> and um, I very much care about keeping the biodiversity of this planet high. And with that, please come up and join us, Lucas. Yeah. 